It's a surprising place, is Masson. It's not very big. I mean, it's only got two or two and a half thousand people in the in the district. You know, with the two or three villages round and about. But it's got, I don't know. It's got a sort of magic character, really. I'm very, very firmly rooted in Masson, and of course, the the implication of that was that when. After I, after I left Theakston's brewery, which was the family brewery, I was fifth generation and it started in 1827 by my great-great-grandfather. It meant that I, had, I left after a short while and I wanted something, I needed something to do. And starting a brewery again and re-establishing family, what we, we would term family brewing in Masson became very important to me. And it was, it was that motivation, that, that roots thing, the desire not to move away from Masson and go and work for somebody else, um, that provided the inspiration or the drive or the motivation to, to start to try to create a traditional country brewery in Masson. When we started up, we were trying to find, trying to find a name for this would be traditional but brand new brewery. We were looking around for, for the things that were, were uh, potentially traditional uh, names that were traditional, names that I hadn't registered when I was running Theakston's in the previous life, so to say. And uh, we, we thought of the, the sheep, mass and sheep. Um, but then the, sheep, the, the sort of mass and sheep brewery seemed a little bit tame as, as a name. And my wife Sue, in a flash of inspiration, said, why don't why did we call it Black Sheep? You know, we were starting up next door to the old firm and so on and so forth. And so uh, Black Sheep, it, Black Sheep, it became, that's where it came from. We did a brew of bitter on that, the, the first, on the Monday, somewhere around about the 16th of September, 92, 18th, whatever it was. And uh, we brewed it a week to ferment it and then into a cask and, and the, the, the amazing moment when we would try this new beer for the first time. The vicar of Masson had got to hear about it so he came along, he's a man that liked his beer, you know, he came to bless it. I took the first glass and it was awful, it was, <laughs> it was really, really hard and bitter and whatnot. We ditched that one. Um, but we, we learned, and it was interesting, because these Yorkshire Square fermenters uh, require, we, we, we used a, a yeast which was suitable for them. We got the yeast from the brewery that we'd got the fermenting vessels from. But we, we learned very quickly that beer produced in that way needs just to mature for a few days before you, uh, before you put it into cask and and then out to the pub. So uh, within a month or six weeks, we were doing that and, and the beer got off the ground and we were, we were away. I think the, all the businesses that are in Massam are intimately involved with the town and supporting things and are part of the fabric of the town. And, we've, it, it, and, it's, and, and it's, a key, it's a key thing in the heart for me that, that Black Sheep's managed to establish that role and, and, and be that one of the, the key parts of Masson um, and hopefully for a long time to come.